Welcome everybody, my name is Malte. Today I will teach you the four ace mystery, which I've showed you in my last video. If you missed out on the performance, here is the performance for you once again. And then we're going to jump right into the tutorial for this routine. Welcome to Malte's ace mystery. As you might have already figured, my name is Malte and this is my mystery. Because what I've got here in my hand is one, two, three cards and all of these three cards are aces. So there's something weird I found out while playing with my one, two, three aces. Because if you turn them over really fast like this, a fourth ace appears out of nowhere. And if this wasn't crazy enough, I found out something else about these aces, something really special that happens when you turn them all four over together like this, one, two, three, four. And suddenly all the four aces turn into the four kings, like that. All right, welcome to the tutorial for this effect that I kind of come up with, came up with myself. Um, it uses some methods that you can also find in the high end effect, which is obviously not created by myself. And I've inspired myself a little bit on this effect, so please check it out as well. But I think I've come up with a little twists that make the effect a little bit more easy to perform, a little easier to learn, but still quite powerful. So here are the things you need. You will need four kings and four aces. And here's your setup. You wanna have one king face up on the bottom and your three other kings face down on top. You also want to have one of the aces face down below your king. All right, so like this. And then your three leftover aces on top. So your setup is ace, 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 king, 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 king upside down, and another ace on the bottom. From the bottom, it looks like this. Let me do it the other way so you can actually see the faces. This is your setup, all right? And you want to start this effect with a double pinky hold. So you're gonna um, have two cards like this and hold them in a pinky break, all right? Your first two aces. So this card uses a lot of, um, a lot of shifting and a lot of double lifts and um, pretending that multiple cards are just one card. So if you wanna practice these grips, then this routine uh, could be perfect for practicing handling multiple cards as one, because this is really all this trick is. So yeah, grab these cards, and now we're gonna start on the routine. So at first you wanna show that you have one, two, three cards. So you have your pinky break, have these two cards, you can spread them like this. What I like to do is hold them in the middle grip like this and then just come along with my thumb because we will do this move later on and then we will repeat it and the spectator won't suspect anything. Here's the first important thing that you don't hold this stack like this because like this they will see that this is obviously thicker than a card so you want to tilt it upwards so they only see the front or the top basically. All right, if you do this for a camera, then have your camera tilted down a little bit so you don't have to hold it like this, but rather in a comfortable spot like that. So you wanna show your one, two, three cards, and then you wanna turn them over like this. Here's what I like to do. I like to cover up this edge with these two cards, like that, so they can't see it. They will only see, all right, one, two, three aces, and don't over show it, don't go like, yeah, this is really and that, and you can see it. No, just show it quickly, turn it back over and then put the stack together. Because if some card flashes out like here, it doesn't matter too much because they will think you have three cards. So if you put it in a stack, it's not that obvious. Here's another secret move. You still wanna hold your pinky break after showing that first cards, but now you wanna get one more card. And this is a little tricky sometimes because you wanna hold into middle grip. And then what I like to do is just count one more card off with my thumb and get it into my pinky break as well. So you now have three cards in your pinky break, like this, all right? So you had two cards, get one more card with your thumb. This might take a little practice. And then you're gonna go into middle grip once again and do this move. But this time you won't 
do this because then you would flash that you have more than three cards but what you're going to do instead is only do it once and now you have your um your double here your two aces perfectly squared because you squared from top this thumb squares from the side this finger square from bottom so this is a perfect squared set of cards this could only be one card if i show it like that but you're going to hold it like this and show that there are two cards while they're actually three and now you can even pinch it with your thumb hold it like this turn it around what i then did is i went into biddle grip again and hold, held this corner right here with this card together like that and then this obviously as my one ace right and then what i did with the turnover in my performance i basically pinched this card a little so we have a little tension on these and I connected my index finger and while turning them, them over I used my thumb to shift them over a little like this so a little difficult but you will get it down it's really not that hard what you could also do is just simply take them like this turn them over and while you turn them over do this spread them. but I like this a little more because it's really like this flashy boom four cards all right so that's why I like to use this move. This is the move of my choice, but really do whatever you like. And then you show that there are four aces suddenly and they won't, uh, if you do it right, they won't suspect it. They will be like, what, four aces, where did they come from? And they will think this is the end of the trick. But no, it goes further because you now you take your one, two, three cards, which are really your three aces. You're gonna position them on bottom. And be careful while doing that to not flash all of these extra cards, right? So this is only one card and you're gonna lay them on bottom like this. And now here's another difficult part because now you're gonna do a thumb, thumb count to your king. And you might need to practice this a little bit, but once you, um, once you practice this trick, you will get it down. You will get always to the, to the right spot with your thumb count. And if you don't, then yeah, you can, you can basically check if you like, because you're tilting the card anyway a little bit. And while counting, you can check if you, if you can spot your king through that. That's a little big gap, but if you do a gap like this, you can see if you spot your king there. If you can't, then just lay them down back again, tell something and do another thumb count right there. And you're gonna hold your pinky break. So you're gonna basically count one to three cards. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come over with your thumb and connect here with your fingers. And once again, just turn over these three kings and then spread. Now, if you do that fast, it looks like this. And this looks really powerful. Um, also because they have just seen these four aces and they won't, uh, they've just seen these four aces and they've just seen you put it back and they won't suspect such a strong transition into these three kings so yeah that's what i really like that's my little routine that i've come up with i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learn this i hope you perfect this i hope you can even make it better if you do so then please tag me on instagram or wherever you post this and i will check it out i am really curious to see what you can do with this and yeah this is basically the full tutorial on this routine i hope you enjoyed it if you did so, please leave a like. If you hated it, then dislike. And yeah, please consider subscribing. Every new subscriber gets a cookie. And I will see you guys in the next one.